Yeah, so we do things a lot differently than most CAR-T companies. And one of the major differences is we don't use a virus for manufacturing. We use a technology called a DNA transposon. And one of the advantages of that system is that you can essentially have unlimited cargo capacity, whereas you're quite limited with a lentivirus. And so we have a fairly large transgene. We put in the business molecule, which we call it cartirin. This is a syntirin. It's not an antibody, but an alternative binder. And they're fully human. They're very thermostable. They don't cause tonic signaling. So a lot of advantages compared to an SCFV. That's then hooked up to a second generation car scaffold. The second thing we put in is a gene that allows us to do positive selection. So unlike a lentiviral product where you may get 5 to 30 percent transduction, which means you're usually left with 5 to 30 percent CAR T positive product, we actually have 100 percent CAR T positive. And we think, and now we have good data in the clinic, that this results in a better therapeutic index because instead of just dumping in not just the cells that will kill the tumor, you're also putting in a lot of cells that can still release cytokines but can't do anything to treat the tumor. And then lastly, we have what's called a safety switch, which means if we were to see significant cytokine release or if a uh, patient came down with any other symptoms or transformation event, we could always eliminate some or all of those cells by administering a small molecule.